Who is orbiting your energy? Spirit, for the viewer, who is orbiting their energy, please? Who is orbiting the viewer's energy? For some of you, there may be more than one. So let's have a look. of the deck we have the three of cups like i said for some of you there could be more than one we have the page of wands the three of swords and the king of swords and over here we have the ten of wands in reverse and the knight of pentacles in reverse two very distinct piles with two different energies Let's start with this energy over here. We have seen the Three of Cups, which sometimes speaks of a third party situation. When it comes to cups, this talks about emotions and love. So it is very possible that you may have an emotional connection to both. Now the illustration on the page of wands most definitely suggests somebody is keeping their eye on you. A very close watch. This is someone who is very adventurous and creative and clearly quite inquisitive. They set their sights high and have clear determination to be the very best at what they do. I am noticing the toucan and the parrot. As totem animals, they both are reminders to speak up. So this person may not have expressed everything to you at this time. The illustration here is very telling. The way that the artist has created the rose, which of course is symbolic of love. And clearly there is a deep wounding. It is a card of sorrow and sadness. And again, it could be depicting a third party situation. However, the King of Swords is a far more positive card. Perhaps I should have started the story differently. The pain, the sorrow and the heartache. Shifting into this energy of looking deep into a situation and then finally coming through as the King of Swords. Someone who at one point was shy to use their voice is now all about communication. We see that the King's Sword is a needle and the eye of a needle can be hard to thread just as speaking the truth may sometimes be difficult. But the King of Swords is a card of communication and of action and it is someone who has thought very clearly upon a situation. Now let's move to this energy. I don't always love reversals, but in these particular cards, I do. Let me first tell you their upright meaning. The illustration on this Ten of Wands card is particularly beautiful, but the meaning is someone who is overly burdened. You see that she is hunched from carrying all of this themselves. So in reverse, this is telling me that you are no burden to them whatsoever. You are the opposite, a blessing. And day to day you make their life beautiful. They also may be looking at their life currently and seeing how they can diminish some of these burdens. Now the Knight of Pentacles is actually one of my favorite knights. They are steady and stable and grounded, but they are as slow as molasses. And so when this came in reverse, it shows me that this person who is usually very slow is very much taking action. Let us have a look at a couple more cards for each. Spirit, can we please have a look at energy number one? What ought the viewer to know about energy number one, please? What ought they to know, please? Thank you. And energy, oh, energy number two, please. Thank you. Okay, bottom of the deck here, we have the Ace of Wands. For energy number two, we have the Lovers. And we have the Emperor. Wow. For energy number one, we have the Emperor in reverse. The Chariot. The King of Wands and the Eight of Wands. 
First of all, let me explain something about the cards and why we have two emperors. If you have seen my videos before, you may already know, but the artist who created this beautiful deck originally had made all of the male counterparts, the king and the emperors, in their feminine energies, as we also see here with the king of swords. She later went on to add the masculine versions of them, and that is why we have two coming up in this particular reading. How incredible and how telling that one comes in reverse and the other in the upright. Let's go back and look at energy number one. We had seen them as the page of wands and now they have evolved into the king of wands. There is no doubt of their passion towards you. And we have several cards to say that they are marching in towards you with the eight of wands and with the chariot. You are their passion. And when I see this card, I keep on thinking of the words marching to the beat of their own drum. And with the Eight of Wands, they do have a message that they want to convey to you. There also could be distance between you with two cards that speak of travel. Traditionally, when doing a love reading, the Eight of Wands talks about being hit by Cupid's arrow and having this feeling of momentum. The energy that I feel that I am reading has complications in their life. Some kind of third party, whether that third party is a person, or distance, or family, or work, or financial. And it feels like they are trying to resolve this and move towards you. However, as much as they are doing, and they are, there is movement happening behind the scenes. Timing could potentially be an issue as we have another emperor here ready to go. This could potentially have been a divine counterpart who knew who you were to one another, who was not able to or did not act, and all of their actions now may be overshadowed by someone who is ready, who loves, cherishes and adores you. Now the lover's card does speak of choices traditionally, but in this particular card we can see two who seem at ease and perfectly matched together. And the combination of the lovers and the emperor, there could even be plans for commitment, such as marriage or moving into a home together. Look, both seem like they are dressed for a special occasion, a corsage and a top hat. A home is most definitely on their mind something that is stable, grounded, and traditional. This may be someone with whom you feel very secure with, while the emperor in reverse, they may have fumbled this opportunity with you. If you would like to learn on who is energetically around you and what is coming in for you, then there is a link in my bio to private readings.